Here with the Wolverines, Captain Trey Burke, and you've had a little bit of time to get into Syracuse and the game plan. How do you see the matchup with the backcourt? Because that's what we've heard a lot about. Well, I know Mark, Michael Carter-Williams is a really good player. Uh, he does a really good job of getting his teammates involved, and uh, he's definitely a game changer. Uh, my job is just to try to contain him, slow him down, um, break his rhythm, and um, just try to, try to shoot as many contested shots as possible. Um, I know that, that that's not really one of his strengths. His strengths is making everyone around him better. So, you know, we're going to just try to, you know, play, play with the same amount of intensity we played with, you know, last game, and I think we, we can definitely be fine. We all know about that 2-3 zone. Yeah. What is it going to take to break it? Just a lot of patience, a lot of ball movement, um, getting the ball in the middle and um, just making the right pass, you know. And at the end of the day, we have to make shots. If you're not making shots, then they're definitely going to be more successful. So, you know, we're trying to continue to find ways to dissect it and go from there. Would you say that there's an X factor or something that you think will be the key if you will win on Saturday? Uh, I think getting them off the boards, not allowing them to get as many second chance opportunities that they're capable of. And, um, and like I said, on offense, we, we have to just execute, really. Uh, if we're not executing, and you know, they're 2-3, they're that's when they're 2-3 is best. You know, if we're moving the ball and, and making open shots, then you know, I think we have a good chance of winning. You know, for all of us on the outside, we come in at the end of practice. Yeah. We don't see everything that goes into it. Mm -hmm. Tell us, though, what has gone into it to get to this point? Just a lot of adversity, a lot of ups and downs, really. You know, we come to practice uh, and practice hard every single day. And um, just some of the heartbreaking losses that we had this year, I think this team was, was able to mature, um, grow, and just learn from, you know, some of the mistakes we've made. And, um, we, we value of not making the same mistake over and over again. And I, and I think that's what's allowed this team to, you know, get to the Final Four. Knowing that you are two wins away from a national championship, is it hard not to, not to go there? It's hard. It's definitely hard, um, especially with the young team that we have. But, you know, we, we've got we've only gotten to this point just by staying in the moment. You know, as long as we stay in the moment, and, you know, try not to look ahead, then, um, you know, our, our dreams can come true. Kind of a lighter question for you, but what was more fun, doing the Harlem Shake on the plane ride home or getting Coach B with that uh, Gatorade bath? I think the, the Gatorade bath was definitely um, just because, I, like I told you, we, we, we faced a lot this year, um, ups and downs. and. Um, just to see, just to see the whole team celebrating and excited, as excited as we were, you know, after that win means a lot. Well, congratulations uh, on how far you've come, and best of luck in Atlanta. Thank you.